Hi everybody, this is Alex from Rundeck. I wanted to talk a little bit about how to use the key store. A lot of Rundeck users use the key store to put their SSH keys and passwords so that Rundeck can connect to the remote nodes and authenticate. But uh, there's another great use for the key store and that is using it for passing uh, secure data, could be secrets, API tokens, or passwords to jobs. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I've got this job here called show locks. It's a standard operating procedure the database team has put together. And well, we got to pick a database and know what a user account to connect to that database to. But here's our dilemma. We need to give the operator of this job the password. And uh, well, the DBA team doesn't want to give the password. So what's a better way? Let's go back to the key store and show you that in the key store besides a private key or a public key we have this ability to create a password now i've already created a couple of passwords here for our example uh, here it is the aura password so this is the oracle password that the dba team has defined for us and we can access that password from our job through that path so what does a job look like to do that Let's go back here. Let's look at another example. This job's called import data. And you can see it takes those same questions, database name, the user account. But now we've got a field here that's got this lock on it. And what it says, it's going to read that key from the key store. Now, how did I set that up? Well, here's our DB password option. And rather than say plain text, I've selected the word secure here. And as soon as I do that, the storage path field opens up and it gives me this selector where I can ask Rundeck to get that value and set the option called DB password with that value when this job runs. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. We'll pick our database and we'll run the job. And lo and behold, it uh, goes ahead and in this case, it uh, imports some data from a SQL file. So that's one simple way it can take any job that needs some kind of secret data and feed it in uh, from the key store. But uh, you might have a more complex case where you want to take that script and turn it into a plugin. Plugins are very easy to write in shell script or Java in Rundeck. And uh, here we have a, a similar job here, export data, asking for a database name. Uh, but um, rather than a script, it's calling a plugin. So what does this look like? Well, it's got this plugin step here. And a plugin can also define one of its input properties to read from the key store. And you can see as soon as that property is, is flagged that way, when the run deck editor opens up, it has this key store selector, but it's the same behavior. When this plugin executes, Rundeck will pass the, the key data from the key store uh, into the plugin. So the plugin will know the password. We don't need to tell everybody. Now, one important thing to remind new users is that in, in Rundeck Pro, we have this key store uh, encrypted. So if somebody were to break into the Rundeck server, they won't be able to find out all the passwords because they're in clear text. All right, well, that's a little short example of how to use the key store to pass secrets and, and uh, other password type data to your jobs.